You would never ever normally put your subject smack in the middle of a composition. I'm not in the middle of your screen now, am I? I'm off to one side and it's a little bit more pleasing, but there are times when you can do it. Now, right here, I got this row of beach huts. This is a frame on the porch of a beach hut. And there's a row of them going all the way off down there where I have my lovely young assistant sitting on a, on a rail to model for us. By using a slightly longer lens, I can move back and then I can frame my model smack in the middle of the shot. And it'll still look okay because we've got this tunnel that's forcing your viewer to look down at the subject. We human beings are very vain. If we see a human figure, we automatically pick that figure up, even if they're tiny, tiny, tiny in the viewfinder. Let's shoot the picture, I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm gonna use about a 135 millimeter lens and just look down through here. And I'm framing Tom with the struts and the uprights of the beach huts. I'm using a longish lens to do this because I want to compress these vertical uprights together. I want to bring Tom a bit closer and I want to stack the uprights together so that there's more impact to the shot. If I use the shorter lens, Tom starts to get very, very small in the image and the uprights start to get further and further apart. There we go. And as you can see straight away, you kind of force straight down along the composition so you can see Tom sitting at the other end. It's a simple trick but it works. It's very rare you can put your subject smack in the middle of a composition, but just occasionally, when you can find these circumstances, you can.